Are you sick of looking in the mirror and seeing acne and blemishes? And it's like very depressing and downheartening. Have you tried going to the doctor, buying a lot of the um, over-the-counter medications and you know applying those that you can get in the store? And it just seems like nothing's working and it's just like so discouraging. Well, I have an idea that you can try and I think you're gonna have great success. What you have to do, number one, is you have to start drinking water. A lot of people will say, well, I do drink water. It has to be measured out certain amount of water. Two quarts a day, every single solitary day. That is the key. You can't skip and drink a lot and don't drink a lot. Every single solitary day, you have to drink two quarts of water. The easiest way to do that is to just have your water cup, jug, bottle, whatever. You have to get a one quart. I love using my mason jar right here. It's a quart. And I just know every day I'm gonna drink two of these. It doesn't matter what time of day. So let's just say I'm gonna go spend the day out with friends. I'll just drink one in the morning. And then when I'm out, whatever I drink, I drink. You know, I don't drink soda, but whatever I drink. If I get a lemonade or a drink, you know, whatever. Then in the evening when I come home, I will drink the second one. That's just an example. So just make sure you drink two quarts of water every single solitary day. The second thing you're gonna do is you are not gonna use any medications or anything on your face. You're just gonna try to be natural, easy on it and see if this works. Make some homemade coconut oil soap. I have the recipe and it's in the link in the description below. So you can click on that and check it out and it'll show you how to make it. My two boys used my homemade soap as they were growing up through the teenage years and they never had acne. It was very effective for my family. If you're not into that, you can't, you just don't have the skills or you don't want to, you can try African black soap. And the link to purchase that is also in the description. So either way, you have to choose one of those soaps. What you're going to do is you are going to wash your face with the bar of soap and water and a white washcloth in your sink every day. So just get it wet, you know, obviously. Lather up though this very good and lathery. So it's just really lathery. Gently, gently, gently wash your face with it. Don't be like scrub, like I have acne and I hate it and I'm gonna scrub it off. No, 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 no. You're gonna be very kind to your skin and you're gonna be like babying it and taking care of it so it heals itself. So you're just gonna gently just go in little circular motions, nice and easy. You know, you don't have to stand here for 20 minutes scrubbing your face. And then just with your hands, you can just put the water up there, rinse it all off, get your towel and just like this, just pat it dry nice. You know what I mean? And just leave it like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just do, if you have super, super oily skin, you can do it twice a day, morning and evening. But if you, if you don't, you know, if your skin's maybe on the dry side or whatever, you can just do it once a day. So you can determine which, what you need. Another thing I wanna mention is your diet. The doctors will tell you, your diet doesn't affect it. Baloney. Yes, it does. Your diet affects everything about you. Everything about you. It's either nourishing you or poisoning you or you're not getting quite enough or you're getting too much. Something's going on there as well. That's very easy to fix if you try just to add more meat to your diet. I think eating a little more meat and fat just gives you the nutrients your body needs and then it's just going to nourish you and when you're nourished and your body has enough nutrients then that immune system can kick into high gear and it's going to straighten everything out because there's a little something off there so you're having a problem no big deal it happens now when i say eat meat i don't mean hot dogs or lunch meat bologna you know that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about one ingredient, whole foods, not processed, and that includes your meat. 
you're going to be very, you're just going to be giving your body more nutrients if you try to eat that way. Stay away from the processed foods. If you look at a package and there's an, a paragraph of ingredients, that's not what you want. Like, no. Just make sure that you add meat to every meal and that you're eating one ingredient foods when you look at your plate. So I'm going to tell you what that looks like. That's going to be like a pork chop, just for an example. A pork chop, a potato, um, it could be a sweet potato, baked potato, or rice. Like those are just one ingredient. It is what it is. And then you just cook that and eat it. And then, you know, whatever vegetable you prefer, you can have that there as well. And for you girls, I'm sorry to say this, but stop wearing makeup. Makeup is just clogging your pores. You want your face to sweat and breathe and just be the way it is. Maybe, maybe you can just do a little eye brow pencil and a little lipstick. That's it. Like don't be rubbing product on your face because that is not helping the matter. Go ahead and eat the healthy diet, drink the water, and try to shoot for natural beauty. And I'm sure you're gonna feel and look better.